Welcome back everybody for our next webinar. This time I've got uh, Florian Hessler for you from URT um, and they, he's going to talk a little bit about their toner cartridge recycling plant um, which is based on mechanical recycling. So they crack the cartridges to separate the toner powder from the solid fractions. And uh, yeah, the problem with that is basically that um, it's got a high risk of fire and explosion. And so they have developed a system to prevent all that, all this, and also, um, uh, also um, separate ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Uh, so yeah, to get a, to get a good recyclate out of that. This webinar will be in English. And thank you all for joining. I can see you all coming in. You can, of course, as always, uh, ask your questions in the chat um, and they will be either answered directly or forwarded to URT themselves. Um, and yeah, I'd say let's go, have fun. Thank you all for being here. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to our web seminar here at the ERIC. I'm Florian Hessler and I'm a sales engineer at UAT. UAT is engineering and building e-scrap recycling plants all over the world. And our today's topic of this web seminar is the toner cartridge recycling. What was the intention to build a toner cartridge recycling plant for us? We wanted to have a good alternative to the waste incineration plants and we want to meet or the plant wants to meet all the EHS, environment, health and safety requirements. Toner cartridges are very dangerous because the toner dust in the cartridges uh, is a fine powder and this powder is respirable. Next to this, the toner is very explosive and when it comes to pressure on the cartridges, the explosion risk is very high. You don't need any heat to get an explosion out of the cartridges. Here on the picture you can see one of our toner cartridge recycling reference plants. And in the today's presentation I want to give you some general information about toner cartridge recycling, about the process that goes on in our plant, functional uh, requirements of the plant and of course the safety concept. In the end of the presentation, we will talk about the expansion steps that, is, that are possible. Here on this chart, you can see an average toner cartridge, an average composition of a toner cartridge. Of course, the composition is changing from manufacturer to manufacturer and also from time to time. A trend that we can see is that in the toner cartridges, we have more and more plastics. Here in this example, you can see that the biggest mass share is already plastics. And for example, we have a lot of PS plastics with 37.1%. Uh, but we also have a lot of iron in the cartridges with 41%. And of course, the toner dust or toner powder with 6.1% in the cartridges. Now we look at some technical specifications of our toner cartridge recycling plant. The plant is 20 to 8 to 4 meters and we can realize the throughput from 600 to 800 kilograms of cartridges per hour. The plant needs an electrical power supply of approximately 40 kW and for the, to run the plant you only need one operator. The noise emission is also under 83 dBA and next to the power supply you need compressed air to run the plant. This is for filter cleaning for example. Here you see a easy, an easy flowchart of our recycling plant and I want to go through with you to understand the process. In the beginning the worker is feeding the cartridges one by one to an elevator. After that, the cartridges will be fed up in the elevator to an horizontal lock gate. This horizontal lock gate 
is disconnecting the worker in front of the plant from the shredding process. This is important because if it would come to an explosion, the worker uh, cannot be reached by the explosion or by the fire. After that, the cartridges will fall into the shredding system. In the shredder, we do not, we do not uh, cut the cartridges, we crack them because we don't want to get pressure on the cartridges. After the shredding process, all the solid fractions and the powder will fall into a vibrating tube. After that, the, um, after the vibrating tube, a sieving drum will separate the powder from the solid fractions. And the most important thing in the plant is the additive feeding. Because um, the additive we feed in the plant is an inert powder. This inert powder is connecting physically with the toner powder and after that the powder combination is inert. So there's no explosion risk anymore. And uh, we have two points where we feed in the additive and this is in the front of the plant where the cartridges are, where, where the feeding of the cartridges is happening and the second point is in the shredding process. After the separation of the powder and the solid fractions, we uh, have a feeding system into, into a big pack station of both fractions. Now we come to the functional structure of the plant. As you can see, the plant has a compact design and what was very important for us is that you have a good access to maintenance points. As you can see in the plant, you have several platforms to, uh, to get to the points where you have to do the maintenance. For example, ex exchange the knives in the shredding system or lubrication or other things. But also the, the access to the sensors is important. Next to this, it is a closed system so that there's no dust emissions and you have a, a low noise level. And this is also important for the operator of the plants. Here on the picture you can see the infeed of the, uh, of the inner powder. This is realized by a little crane where you can hang in the big bag to open it and feed it into the system. After that, the additive will be fed automatically to the different points in the plant. The operator has the opportunity to see all the, the functions and all the, the sensor activities on a clear operator's display. So uh, he has the opportunity to overwatch the plant while he is feeding the cartridges into the plant. The, the big bag is uh, will or the, the big bag is in the big bag uh, feeding system and so the logistics is also important in this plant because you have the infeed on one side and the output on the other side so that you can have an easy handling of the of the output material. The most important thing is of course the explosion protection and the safety concept in the plant. Because, as we already said, it is very uh, dangerous to treat cartridges because of the explosion risk. And the, the, really the intention of the plant or the core concept is to separate the powder from the solid fractions to have a safe downstream treatment. The norms and guidelines say that you can only have a first explosion protection if there's no explosion risk. But through the treatment of the cartridges, you always have an explosion risk. And this is why we call the explosion prevent prevention by feeding the additive or the inner powder um, a secondary explosion protection. And as, as I already said, we do that at two points in the plant, the infeed and we do it in the shredding system. We also have other, um, other explosion protections in the plant. This we call the third explosion pr protection and these are pressure reliefs. For example, when it comes to an explosion in the plant, the, the pressure can, 
can go into the pressure reliefs to uh, to not to not have a dangerous explosion that destroys the plant. Another thing we have integrated in the plant is the explosion decoupling. And um, these little things, the red things in the plant, you can you can see. These are cartridges um, with a with a powder in it. And if it comes to an uh, to a pressure in the plant, the sensors will, will realize that, and the, and automatically this um, yeah it's a it's a extinguishing powder fire extinguishing powder will be dosed in the system to work against this explosion. Here you can see it, how it looks like in our reference plant. Okay, worker protection, as I already said, is very important for us. And we have several installations in the plant to uh, ensure worker protection. This is the dust extraction at the infeeding point. Because, as I already said, this fine um, dust is respirable, this fine powder dust and um, we want to protect the worker from that. Then you have the opportunity to, uh, um, to stop the plant with an emergency switch and you have the, the, the sensor fence at the infeed that if something would come into the infeeding point, the plant would also automatically stop to protect the worker, the hands of the, of the worker. There are expansion steps of the plant. So um, the first step of the toner cartridge recycling plant is to separate the powder from the solid fractions. But after that, you want to have a recovery of the different materials in the plant. So there could be an expansion step like separating the ferrous metals, the non-ferrous metals and the plastics afterwards. And this is only possible because of this step one treatment of this preparation treatment of the toner cartridges. Afterwards, you, if you imagine that you have a big facility, a recycling facility with other e-waste plants, for example, a plastic separation, you could use the output of this expansion step to uh, feed it in the, in the plastic separation, for example. So it's connectable. Now we're already at the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for the, for the attention. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask us. Thank you. Thank you, Florian, for that, um, that insight into your uh, toner recycling plant. Uh, you can all, of course, head over to their booth and ask questions there, or um, if there are any open uh, and yeah, thank you all for joining the webinar. I would hope to see you again in the next one. We will start at uh, 2.15 with Connor Dowd from AMCS. He will talk about using technology to gain an advantage in metal recycling. So a use case for their software in, uh, in the metal recycling uh, environment. And yeah, I would hope to see you all again. Um, dear uh, Leonhard, I've seen your question. I can, will forward that to Florian himself and I believe he will be able to get you the, um, the, the answer via email or whatever it is, he will, whatever will work best for him. Thank you for your question. Um, yeah, thank you all for, for being here. And I think we will just talk again, uh, see you soon, uh, maybe even in our LinkedIn group or on the EREC page or on the next webinar. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>